Hello, friends. How are you uh, today? Special hi goes to everyone who's watching us live. It's Andre and Andre again, um, and we're coming to you with uh, uh, with the updates for March. Yeah, that means whatever happened in February, um, all in one place. So hope you're having a good time. Uh, we'll try to be quick as always. Uh, last time we were about 14 minutes, so let's try to keep it shorter this time. We'll squeeze it under 10 today. Yeah, <laughs> too many things happening sure at once. It. Maybe we can do this uh, on a bi-weekly basis then. Uh, if there is just too many things to to go through, um, so it's been an interesting month. Even though February only has 28 days, um, but a lot of things happened. So let's start with the uh, with the biggest thing, and that's uh, the announcement of 2023 Content.ai MVPs. Now we do this every year. Uh, every year, just before Christmas, it's it's a nice thing to do. We all sit down. The the MVP committee sits down, and uh, we actually select the most active members of the community. Um, which is which is a great thing. Um, it's always nice to see what people are are doing for the community. And uh, this year we actually have the same set of MVPs as uh, as last year, um, which which means we were right the year before. Um, and um, um, yeah, yeah, it's really nice to have a stable team. Uh, that's basically ensuring that content AI uh, is a good choice uh, to use. Uh, you can, I'm just scrolling through uh, on the stream uh, on the stream uh, on the on the blog post announcing. Our MVPs. So uh, these are probably uh, the familiar face faces. If you have been using Content AI for a while, uh, you can reach them out on the Discord, and uh, you can see them uh, on the on the events. Uh, so uh, these are pretty familiar faces. So I'm glad that uh, we have all, uh, all of them abroad uh, on board. So and a big congratulations goes to uh, all of them for for all the great activities that they do. Um, so yeah, that's that's MVPs. If you're uh, if you're interested in more, there's a dedicated page. We'll share the, the link down in the video description. Uh, you can check out who, who they are. Um, and the next one is uh, the new event called uh, Reactathon. Can you tell yes, me a bit of, that's, about it? Because I have no idea what it is. That's a, that's a conference uh, focused on React in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, it's, it's the first year of sponsorship for us. Um, but it's uh, uh, we had a really nice time at Gemstack on uh, last year in San Francisco, so we're coming back. Uh, it's uh, second and third of May, and the reason why we're telling you about it right now, uh, when it's just the start of March, so it's two months away, is that um, there is a special link. If you use that link, you're gonna get 50% off the regular ticket price. Um, so it's it's quite a nice deal, and uh, there are some really nice names. Um, I'm really looking forward to see West Boss and, uh, and David Kershid. Because um, uh, I've been watching their, their presentations and it's uh, it's really great. Uh, I enjoy them a lot. So um, yeah, if you're in San Francisco area, then uh, we're, we're coming there at the start of May. So if you're interested in content management, then stop by our booth and uh, let's see how we can make your project better. Yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, and I just saw that there is uh, even the remote ticket uh, available. So uh, if you're not uh, from around or if you don't have time to travel, uh, I guess you can book the free ticket and uh, see the content as well. Absolutely. Oh, the next <clears throat> next thing on the list is um, the the story. This is a bit more technical thing. Let's let's put it out there. Um, it's about accessing the browser storage mm -hmm. from custom elements. Now, this has been a problem for a while. So can you tell me more about what, what happened there? Yeah. Um, since uh, our web spotlight and custom elements is basically an iframe, uh, uh, we are putting them uh, out there in this uh, sandbox, uh, which is secure so that uh, no attacker can uh, just uh, penetrate, uh, penetrate the whole product uh, or uh, the whole uh, system or your mm -hmm. project uh, directly through, uh, through the iframe. So we are using sandboxes. On the other hand, they are quite new, uh, they are quite fresh. So all of the things are pretty restricted. Mm -hmm. And uh, up until now, many browsers have many ways how you can allow uh, people to store uh, store the cookies and uh, uh, storage uh, in the browser storage directly. Mm -hmm. uh, now there is a new uh, sandbox permission uh, permission setup, which is not in the in, in the standard yet, but uh, it's sub supported in most of the browsers. So now you can store your state on the client side in your uh, web spotlight as well as uh, in your custom elements, which is useful, for example, for I don't know the state of your filter of the web page or the state of your custom element from the last time you were there, or uh, storing the cookie that you are authenticated so that you don't need to authenticate uh, all over and over again once you open up the custom element. So yeah, that, that that sounds cool because that, that was a big limitation of custom elements, at least from what I remember. 
Um, you need so, to bend the uh, Chrome or uh, your browser yeah. to uh, allow a couple of things. So uh, now it's out of the box. Uh, in nice. The... OK, yeah, we'll share the link to the documentation down in the video description yes. so that everyone video can, video. can take a look. And we can move on to the next thing, which is, I believe, um, Andy's article? Yes, that's true. Let's, let, let me put the, the screen up there. Let's put it out. And um, so this is like there's been a lot of buzz around AI. And, uh, you know, traveling around conferences, I know that a lot of people are interested in what the AI in content AI actually means. Why do we have it in the name? And there are many discussions depending on who's asking. Um, you know, that depends on the direction of the conversation. But the truth is that um, AI is, is really a nice buzzword. But Andy actually tried to connect the, the new technologies with the way you work with content. So... Um, kind of connect those two worlds together to see how AI fits into your daily line of work. Um, and I think he's done a really good job because uh, all those things actually show, uh, those examples show the real value of AI and how it can actually um, ease, ease your work, yeah, to make your work more streamlined and to focus on what really matters and, and help with the, with the not so nice bits. So. Um, things about image generation, image tagging, you know, recommendations, um, all those things. Actually, the picture, the, the big picture that uh, Andy used for a teaser, that's also generated by uh, by AI. So um, really nice examples. Uh, I would encourage everyone to take a look uh, because this is the way how we can use AI today or tomorrow in in your normal work, normal job, normal work. Yeah, I like the content because it's like uh, AI one, uh, 101 for uh, content management systems. Yeah, you walk it through, uh, you implement these, uh, let's say, small small bits that are um, uh, that are already uh, proven to be useful, and then you can just take a look around and see these small complex scenarios that you can accommodate uh, or combine the AIs all together. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that's that's Andy's article. Uh, link again down in the video description. And next thing is uh, the IM Tech Meetup. Yeah, another MVP activity. Yeah, so uh, IM Tech Meetup is actually something that uh, our, our MVP, uh, Ilash Mystery, organizes. Um, and I really like those because uh, the topics are really catchy. Um, they, they really help people. They, they get a really nice uh, view count on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, this one, this particular one in February, was, uh, was about becoming a developer um, in these days. Um, and I think that's, that's a very, very valuable topic because uh, many people want to get into tech um, and it can be intimidating. Uh, you know, the, the terms like a, like a, a personal brand and, uh, and different technologies, different frameworks, how you can actually navigate the space, uh, what, what to do, what to focus on, where to start. Um, those are all very, very valid questions um, and, and they covered them all. So uh, I think that was a very valuable one. Um, the recording is available on YouTube. Yeah, I'm just uh, clicking it through. It's basically you have uh, different personas uh, uh, being talking there. Uh, you have personas that started to be designer, then uh, move to the move to the uh, coding. Uh, the other guys have been, uh, let's say, started with the university with the mm. with a college degree. The other did a boot camp. Uh, really uh, interesting stuff. Uh, you can see uh, if you match any of these, or you can get get some information how to get to the uh development or to the uh, software engineering uh pretty quickly and for some it was quite easy to just make a switch from there uh from their uh, uh other careers and uh, there is also a new one planned for end of march i believe uh, and i think it was about ai uh that should be uh and uh let's not spoil uh all the fun so that uh, we have the next yeah. uh, next month full <laughs> of the news so but there is some AI because now AI is everywhere. AI know? is everywhere, exactly. Now I use it on a daily basis with ChatGPT, so I'm not <laughs> surprised. Now, what's uh, what's next on the list? Then? Uh, the next uh, is our new or upgraded uh, sample application for Next.js, uh, because we had a, uh, we had a couple of examples. We have uh, made a couple of improvements in the our SDKs mm -hmm. and in our support of Next.js. And we basically left out uh, one of the official uh, examples using uh, or showcasing content AI with just in JavaScript. So for now, we have rewritten, rewritten it in the TypeScript uh, with the out-of-the-box supports of the SDK. So we upgraded the SDKs, uh, we created a showcase. And if you don't want to just clone it and uh, run it, 
uh, as the starter, you can go through the configuration and do it uh, step by step by around mm -hmm. uh, in the readme, which is useful if you want to like get under the hood and see uh, how it works. You will end up uh, with a basic uh, blog post uh, site, but it's uh, really, really ready uh, to be extended uh, and showcasing uh, most of the uh, valuable features combining uh, Next.js herself nice. and content.ai. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, now our own website is based on Next.js, uh, so this is this is good to see. And a lot of people that are uh, actually working on larger projects, they want a solid base to work on. Mm -hmm. So, so this might be a good start. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we can continue with uh, other uh, other developer relations activity. Absolutely. Uh, which is a translation management system uh, info. Uh, we were uh, thriving and uh, striving to get to uh, to let's say, accommodate the whole concepts of translations because mm -hmm. you can use AI for translation, but how you connect it uh, with your system. So we have been focusing uh, on uh, integrating with translation system, uh, translation management systems, TSMs. Mm -hmm. uh, and we tried to pinpoint uh, the, let's say, interesting topics or the focus areas uh, you should uh, have your eye on. Mm -hmm. and be careful uh, what to choose. We try to be as transparent as possible. So uh, we have uh, a couple of uh, options, how you can solve the areas with the advantages and disadvantages uh, so that uh, you know and you have a picture right before you implement it so that you don't end up in the, let's say, uh, blind spot or uh, somewhere that uh, you're basically blocked and you need to start all, all over again. Right. Yeah, I, I read uh, I read the whole whole guide. I, I think there's a, there's a lot of value in it. It explains the the touch points and uh, the different ways you can take um, translating the content, and uh, it it nicely shows that it's a huge topic. Yeah, and it it, it doesn't even mention the AI. Yeah. yeah, it's just like yeah, you send it somewhere, it it's been translated, and you send it back. So this is the other black box that uh, <laughs> we probably will cover in the future. Right. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe AI will will actually take it all over. And, yeah, uh, like we'll see at all. At all. Yeah. You just say, hey, translate it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And I think that uh, that uh, is the the final thing on our list. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we almost made it under ten minutes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for for joining us. Uh, as always, join our Discord. The link is gonna be in the video description again. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah. See you next month. See you in April. Bye. Bye.